Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Poison Akami here, just me, myself and I, back at it again with another video, and today's video is going to be a tutorial- Well, calm down, Madara. Chill out. Alright, I'm doing an intro. Alright, you, you, you need to settle down. Anyways, so today's video is a tutorial on how to do extended stuns from leader switching. So, you're probably thinking to yourself, what the hell does he mean by extended stuns? Like... The stuns we get from these is just as they are, you know, like, there's nothing really too exciting about it, you know, like, what, what does he mean by extended stuns? So, extended stuns is actually a mechanic um, a lot of the top players use on purpose to uh, buy themselves some time to do something a little extra when they're comboing their opponents. Um, only very few characters can do this, so every character you see on my team here, Pain, Shisui, and Madara, can do this beautifully, and there are more characters that I'm going to showcase to you guys just to kind of help you guys out that can also do this. So, usually when we combo someone like this, they have a small amount of stun, but the stun is enough for you to land your next combo. So if I go back to Pain right here, and I'll just do the same thing again, third hit, you can go straight into Madara and continue, because the stun that's added from Madara's dash, combined with Pain's previous stun from his combo, allows Madara to do that. Um, but if you, you know, you do that, and you do nothing, you, just, you know, they'll block and you can't do anything, so... Again, so if I go back to pain there, and I do it again, but if I, I mash, it works. But I only have enough time to mash. So what if I told you that you actually have enough time to do more? You have enough time to equip an attack pill, or you can do an ultimate jutsu as well. You can literally do something different. Um, you can charge a chakra, and I'm going to explain that to you here. Now, this is going to be quite an in-depth guide because there's different versions and different scenarios that you can do with this technique, and I'm going to teach you like the best way to do each one. So, let's get into it. So, we'll start off with Pain here. So, Pain, here's... Ex oh, Madara. Madara is just ruining, ruining the tutorial. <laughs> anyway, so, Pain here. Pain's extended stun is here. Notice how Yugito was still stunned and I was literally stood still doing nothing? That buys me time to do literally anything else. So, as an example. I can equip attack pill with Shisui and then go into the next combo. Um, another example is with Pain again. Sorry, that was, that was a bad example. Um, another example with Pain is like this. You can land a team on Majitsu. So, depending on the character, you can also land, like the character you're switching into, you can land ultimate jutsus as well. So, with Pain, I'm going to do a, like a, a slow motion version here, so watch carefully. So that was the slow motion version for Pain right there, um, so it shows you exactly where to uh, switch in the combo. Basically, you want to switch as the clone is, is, coming, is basically coming up, so you want to do it like there. As the, cl as the clone basically comes in. A lot of people, they get confused and they try to switch around there which is too late you want to do it as the clone is coming in to hit because basically the whole logic behind it is that when the clone comes in to do the hits is doing his own animations and hit one circle hit in that animation is the clone doing it is, is two hits or whatever how many hits is doing which provides enough stun for your new character because the clone's still doing his thing for your new character to do literally whatever they want um so now i'll show mother's version so mother's version is special so he actually stuns them in place and does it slightly differently, <laughs> uh, which is good fun. So I'll show it again. You want to switch as Madara brings his arm down. So when his no arm comes down to do the wind up again. So there. The timing isn't too strict, so like you can pretty much do it late or early, it doesn't really matter. But around here. And then you can do what you want. And I'll just show you guys that you can actually land the old Jutsu from it as well. There you go. Free old Jutsu. And just so you guys know, the opponent is on block the whole time. So this is how you know it's legitimate. Um, they they can't get out of this. Um, and then I'm going to show you Shisui's version. Thank <laughs> you. 
There you go. So Shisui's version, once again, is right here. So as he starts up combo there. Oh, so the timing is very strict. So as he goes from the base flames into the zoom, as soon as he starts to zoom in his up combo, that's where you want to switch. The timing for Shisui is actually kind of strict. Um, so you want to be doing it around there. Again, he's doing multiple hits. He's doing multiple hits when he's sliding in with his feet. And when he does the slash up with his flame, all that gives you enough stun to do whatever you want with your, uh, your new character. So yeah, I was able to stand there, just do absolutely nothing. Um, so in an ideal scenario, what we would do is I would do this. I switch to pain, attack uphill, and I do pain's neutral combo. And if you don't have subs, go in for the Oma combo, oh, Majitsu combo. And with the attack uphill and Shisui's whole combo, you're looking at a lot of damage right there, boys. Like, it's pretty decent. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some other characters and scenarios as to why sometimes this is good and sometimes it's not good. So bear with me. All right, guys, so right here, I'm actually introducing two more characters that can do it. Sasuke the last here and Darui. So uh, with Sasuke the last, he actually has it right here. So he has it there in his um, universal pole. So that's pretty cool because then you can do that and then you can go ahead and continue. But with a combo like that, I don't see the point in doing it there for him because Sasuke is a character that with his um, combo switch, which is this, what's the point in you know doing that when he has a combo switch with so much stun? This is his combo switch. See, I was able to uh, uh, equip, a, equip a, a pill. Now, imagine the speed up pill is an attack pill, just for reference. <laughs> See what I'm able to do? So, in actual fact, what I would do there is this. Attack pill into Ulma. So, even, so basically, the whole preface of this is what I'm trying to tell you is, even though your character can do it, doesn't necessarily mean you have to. So with Sasuke, I don't see the point in doing it. Because that's cool. But in terms of damage, say, you're, say your opponent has no subs. They, they completely wasted their sub. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you, actually. Uh, let's see. If we uh, get them to waste the subs entirely. Let's see. Where's subs? Oh. I'm stupid. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, 10-10 is getting a bit defensive. Alright. So, this is what it would look like. Now, look at her subs. Her subs are coming back ever so slowly. But if we do this, okay. So this is like a scenario where the subs are completely drained or whatever, right? Look how much of a combo I can get in. I can do one, do this one. So you get two of Sasuke's combos in. Combo switch, attack pill, imagine this is an attack pill with the next character and land an old Majutsu. So that is actually a lot more better. And remember guys, you're actually wasting your support gauge by doing this. Because I have my support gauge unlimited, it's not a good representation. But if I go back to the support gauge and I show it like this, see, even though I'm doing this, that's limiting my support gauge and is limiting my options in terms of how much damage I can output. I only have enough time to either A, land an ultimate jutsu, or B, just do a, a pill. So, again, I can decide to land the Black Panther or I can decide to land a pill. However, if I do this and that, I'm expanding my options for more damage so make sure guys when you're doing these type of things that you're expanding your options for more damage now some of you are probably asking me yama 
I still don't know how to do combo switch. How do I do combo switch? It's okay, I will teach you how to do combo switch, or at least my way of doing combo switch. So hold on a second, bear with me guys. All right, guys, just as a reminder, for those of you who have forgotten how to do um, the switch tech um, for combo, so combo switch tech where your character does like the last couple of moves like this, so everyone does their, their two IC2 inputs. So IC2 means intro combo two. Intro combo two literally means when you hit circle twice. Um, each character have different amount of hits they do within their each intro combo two. Um, so Sasuke does three hits. So one, two, three. Maro does two. Three. And Darui also does two. But Sasuke, characters like Sasuke and Hashirama, they're the coolest because they do multiple, providing multiple stunts. So how do you do it? So how I literally do it is I switch and then hit circle very quickly after, like so. So if you re if you refer to uh, the controller on the screen, you can see how I do it. So I switch and hit circle twice at the same time, and then to do buffers, which what I do is, oops, that's not what I do. <laughs> but to do buffers, what I literally do is I do the amount of hits. And then what I do is I, um, I I basically do the command. So I want to do a grab buffer. I grab and switch at the same time. But make sure you're not hitting them. <laughs> there you go. And same with Jitsu. So Jitsu. Oh, that's bad. There you go. like so so that's how i do it i know that there are other ways for people to do it um some people they load the chakra so one people one so one way to do it is to do hits load and then do it like that that's one way to go about it um but that's you know that's up to you but you know one way is to do it like that Right, anyway, so now it's out of the way. <laughs> so basically, we all know now how to do combo um, combo switches. So switch plus circle at the same time. So what I do, if you look at the controller, I switch and hit circle twice. So then what I do is I do this. And then I go in like that. Okay, so that's literally how we do uh, combo buffers or combo switch tech, just for those of you who need to know. <laughs> okay, so. As I, so that basically proves the whole fact of with Sasuke, if you're using him, just do this. Like literally, there's no point in doing this because you're limiting your options. You're giving yourself less stun basically because with, you know, doing the whole combo plus this, you're giving yourself way more time to do whatever you, whatever you like. You know, say that you're low on chakra, you know? You know, you're gonna you're gonna want to do this to charge the chakra. Now, obviously, you gotta be selective of how you're doing things. You can't always attack a pill and charge chakra. Sometimes you just want to do it to charge chakra just in general. So, like that, and then you can go in and do whatever it is you need. Okay, um, and all right. So that's Sasuke. So I want I want to show the example because I don't want to see people choosing Sasuke and then just being like, yeah, okay. Woo! <laughs> and then doing that because that's not max damage you know when you get your opponent's subs down all the way and they have no means of escaping they've got no subs they've got no supports you want to get in as much damage as possible until those resources come back um so that's just one thing right there um so i'll show you dadawi's version dadawi is pretty cool so it's in a space combo so it's when he slams the sword down basically so yeah So then we can do an infinite loop, like this. And we can land that. So that's Darui's version. Um, I can go into the character select and I can, I'll pick out a few more characters. I'll pick out a few more characters for you guys. And then guys, what I want you guys to do is again, what, what I tell you in every video is to check out your favorite characters, choose the characters you like doing, you know, you like playing with and see if, they, if those characters have it. So for example, Eno, for example, she does not have it at all. Like very upsetting for me. She does not have this uh, feature. However, um, I can show you guys um, other characters that do have it. So bear with me, I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, so the characters that I have right here, so Tushikage, uh, Raikage, and Neji, just some characters I thought I'd pick at random. Um, they also have it as well. So let me demonstrate. So Tushikage has it in his neutral combo. But I was very slow with the uh, switch there. There we go. I guess one thing to factor is the amount of frames it takes for the first hit to come out of some characters. Some characters are quite slow with the transition from this and this, so you gotta bear that in mind. You gotta try and be as quick as possible. But yeah, we can just about get it there. Um, so with Tushi, uh, Raikage is in his up combo right here as he starts the shoulder barge. Oh, it worked for me earlier, hold on. There we go. So you gotta do it at the very beginning of the shoulder bars, like you can't even let it escape. So one more time for Raikage. Okay, the switch doesn't even want to come out that time. There we go. And then Neji has multiple, so I picked Neji because he's actually like an interesting character when it comes to it. So he has a few, so he has one here. Yeah, I know he has one there. Hold on a sec. There we go. So one there. Uh, Neji has another one here. God, big damage. Like, imagine if you had the attack up hill there with Raikage. So you do Neji's down combo. Boom. Attack, uh, you know, attack up hill. Oh wait, I, uh, I gotta demonstrate this properly, guys. As you can see, I'm very excited. <laughs> oh yeah, that's one way to do it. And then, boom. If that was an attack up hill, it would do so much damage. All right, anyways, guys, so that is the tutorial for extended leader switch uh, combo, like, uh, stuns. I guess that's what you call it. So extended leader switch combo stuns. So, or leader switch combos, extended stuns, whatever you want to call it, is extended stuns from le uh, leader switching. And this this tool is so useful when it comes to uh, opening up your options to do max damage. Um, it's something you really just want to take a look at. Um, it's really handy as well. So yeah, guys, um, be sure to drop a like and you know share me your comments. Uh, like I said, go through the characters that you enjoy because if I were to do that, it would take ages to show every character that has this. So what I had to do is literally just how I have to find it is I was I would look at a character and I go through the combos and I look at the com the, the hits that that do the most. You know the hits that basically have the most hits. So up combo one circle hit in up combo so let's see you've got one two three four five okay so he does like a good three hits and his fifth circle combo hit in his up combo so three hits you think is enough to provide the stun and it and it is but right card game's not showing but yeah again it's one of those things that timing is strict and then the game of neji so in his base combo it's just he does so many hits, it extends to stun. So yeah, be sure to uh, take a look at that um, and then just, you know, basically just have fun with it. And also, Tushikage is a monster. <laughs> All right, guys, as always, it's been your boy, Poison Akami, Jeanette.